My name is Florence Tang, and today I will be showing you, especially if you are a student in Jackie Stevens UNIV 110 class, and your major is either in counseling, human services, or psychology, I'll be showing you how to find a quantitative article using the PsycInfo database. So first we're going to go to the Mercer University Libraries homepage, which is located at libraries.mercer.edu. Then we'll go to databases and select the letter P. The third database from the bottom of this list will be PsycInfo. If you are accessing the database from off campus, it will ask for your username, which in your case will be your eight digit MUID number. For staff, it is the last name underscore first initial middle initial. And then your password is the same password you use for your Mercer email or for my Mercer. You'll see the PsycInfo advanced search screen. You'll want to limit your search to peer reviewed scholarly publications. Jackie Stephen requires that the articles be published within the last five years. So I'm going to put in 2016 as the beginning year, and there's no need to fill in the second box because it'll be up to the present and even pre-published articles. And we want to limit our search to only articles published in the English language. If your topic was specifically about, say, adolescents or seniors, etc., you could limit your search by age group. And then under methodology, you could choose quantitative study. And I'll put in my topic. Here's my result list of 440 articles. Now, even though I limited my search to quantitative studies, it's not necessarily 100% accurate. For example, there could be articles where they reference a, another quantitative study as a opposed to saying that this particular study is a quantitative study and that's why the database picks it up as quantitative study even though they were only referring to another study being a quantitative study. But in this case it appears that they're testing a scale, a questionnaire, many studies that have questionnaires are quantitative studies. Not all, but many of them are. So let's look at the full text. And you can see that there's a table with numbers. As part of your assignment, you would still need to talk with a math tutor to find out whether this really is a quantitative study, but to me, it looks very much 
like it is one. Let's go back to the result list by clicking on result list instead of the back button, as you would if you were merely surfing the internet. And you can see that there are other articles that do not say that they are full text in this particular database, but they may be available full text in another database. You can click on find full text next to this orange icon with the picture of the Mercer bear. And it shows that the International Journal of Eating Disorders is available full text from the Wiley Online Library database, which we also have access to. And here is the full text of that article that was not available full text in PsycInfo, but is available in another database that you have access to through the Mercer Libraries. If you have any questions, you can go to the library's homepage or just to the top right corner of any web page on libraries.mercer.edu and click on Ask a Librarian. Here you'll see how to contact us through email. You can chat with the librarian on duty synchronously online. You can enter the Ask a Librarian Zoom room You our frequently asked questions website, and you can also call us at one of our phone numbers. <laughs>